got a little parcel. It's come today. Let's get it. Actually, this camera isn't gonna pick anything up here, but let's see what's going on. Oh, look what we got, guys. Oh, cool and pipes. Actually, look quite a right one. Ooh, yeah, so there's our pipes. They actually look decent, as I mentioned, triple ply. Um, so not too bad. They're quite nice and red as well. Um, but yeah, they're not all gonna fit. Not all of them will actually fit on my car. But we will fit the ones that we still have left in place. So yeah, not bad, I think. You know, for 60 odd quid, can't complain. And um, now all I need to get really, is some clamps yeah so i'll order those on ebay again i i thought it would come with them i don't know why um but yeah i didn't say it on the listing i just assumed i might come with clamps but i'll get decent ones anyway you know for for the golf and um yeah we'll get it fitted and hopefully it'll be blinged up in the engine bay now um da, da, da. i need to get a move on yeah really let's put this cup of tea here Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Yeah, that's a bit safer down there. Right. So, rock and roll, boys. Let's get cracking. So, da, da, da. what are we pumping on this thing? I'm sure it is a T25. and steady we wanna go under here and get a hold of that bugger yeah there we go this should be off yeah let's do a comparison This is a bit of jiggery pokery trying to work out what goes where because they're not exactly exactly the same shape as the original VW pipes but yeah I've sort of worked out that that goes there because it sort of looks like it goes there if you look at the shape it can't go that way because that'll be too short so fair enough but obviously whoever's done this is not the sharpest tool in the box because they've put the logo on the wrong side which I don't mind anyway but yeah they're just not made properly but anyway yeah that goes there that goes underneath again upside down because that needs to go into the expansion tank which goes that side which kind of looks slightly longer looks slightly longer so yeah those two are established yeah then that obviously is our long one that goes under there yeah that comes around the top again upside down labels printed upside down but that goes there you can see that that goes there that one assuming it goes that way because you can see that pipe under there so that's gonna go something somewhat like that yeah then these now this one and that one i'm assuming these are oil cooler because i can't seem to find anywhere else they go really so i'm sure these are oil cooler these but yeah i'm sure because look at the shape of that that looks squiggly maybe like so yeah looks like that and then this this looks like it goes there underneath there and up so yeah you know they look like they go their way let's strip everything apart but yeah 
some more tree. I don't need to take that off. Nope. So let's put those in there. Mm -hmm. Ow. So let's measure that. Yeah, that's about right. You see, I would actually prefer this to go straight onto the red and clamp it on the red, but I don't think it will. Anyway, let's take that off of there. These are fragile. Be careful with them. I remember breaking one back in the day, a couple of years ago. And we've got to get that off here. So that shall go like so. So that means that's going to go somewhere there. Mm -hmm. So we'll go in there and then that will go like so. So that will go somewhere there. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We want to make sure that this thing's comfortable. It's comfortable. Yeah, I think so. Right, so that is kind of set. We we'll leave that to one side because we've got to strip all of that to put that and those two which go underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pass that one off. Little, oh no, the dinky can stay on there. Funny enough, they didn't give us that little pipe. That would have been good to have that tiny little pipe on there. But uh, no, they didn't, the buggers. Yeah, I hate these clips. I hate them. What a passion. I don't know what they called. They're good clips, but they're horrible to work with. Horrible. Do you know what I mean? Look at it. So that'll go into that. And clamp those up. Let me get our clamps. As you guys can see, JCSI grips or Jubilees, either one. JCSI grips are quite good actually. I've been using them and the Jubilees. So what are these? These are, da, 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 what are they? 35 to 45 more. So we're gonna get that to there. So we can tighten it on the side mm -hmm. All right. so that can go on and then get that this way tighten this up that yeah. I'm gonna get some hot water guys I'll show them how it's done now guys <laughs> Let me put this somewhere safe, otherwise this will show me how it's done. <laughs> right. So that's pretty much in. Clamps are primed. 
So oil cooler next. Ah, guys, hey, nearly took myself out here. Yeah? Can you see it right there? Yeah, I was trying to get hold of that clamp, and as I was pulling on the clamp, it just this slipped and actually caught me right in there. So it could have been worse. The how hard it hit me, I was a um, bit concerned, but nah, it just bled out a little bit, so should be good to go. But yeah, just taking off those two for the um, oil cooler, which are those two. I'll put those on, then I'll carry on with the rest. right so yeah i managed to get those all on hey they were fiddling off hey my god to get to that back pipe this one yeah oh because of all my um you know um oil whatever ccv system <clears throat> it was really really difficult to get that pipe in but anyway we got that one in and they sort of look lined up ish um they don't look like they're too bad so the only one i'm gonna have to trim down really is this one because i mean i don't know what they were thinking when they made these pipes if you put that there i mean you can see there's a massive difference in size even if you put it like so you can see that that's too long slightly and that's way 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 too long so yeah i'm gonna trim that one down and then pretty much get that one in got this one in i need to find a clamp for that side and then it's just the bottom one which is pretty much you know quite simple I tell you what boys i'm having fun today literally now these pipes i've just had to trim this uh what you call it radiator i don't know what you'd call that fan housing or fan whatever support or whatever i've had to trim that with my demo yeah but check how <laughs> fingers are getting taken out here. Look at that. Yesterday I had that finger. The camera will pick it up. Today I just chunga these two fingers here. And I've been looking here. The only way I actually noticed it when I noticed blood all over my pipes. <laughs> so you know what? The golf is really built on, you know, blood, sweat and tears. There's no joke about that. But anyway, what I wanted to show you guys is this. So I've cut one of the old pipes actually. Um, and I want to channel it around here and I'll get some clamps on it, you know, over that pipe. Just because it's going to get eaten. I know it'll get eaten through. Um, and they're not made perfect, these pipes. You know what I mean? I mean, even the original VW one has this on it, you know, to save getting chewed away and you can already see this was getting you know nibbled at so yeah i'm gonna put that pipe under there and then we're pretty much done um we're close to being complete so yeah i shall carry on and show you guys that in a bit so we're all done boys um at the bottom can you see what i've had to do there just to save that pipe getting nibbled away so yeah, all our other pipes are in all of them. I know it's quite a bit going on in here, really, with all these pipes. But I think it makes it look nice. I do. Let me know what you guys think. It makes it look like there's more to the engine, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that clamp. I had to put three clamps around that bugger just to save the damn thing from getting chewed away. You can see now, nothing will happen to it now at all. You know, so yeah, I'm gonna just put some deionized water through the system, warm that up, flush it out, then I'll put our coolant just to make sure there's no leaks. Because if there is any leaks, I don't want there to be leaks with coolant in them, I'd rather they just be leaks with water because it's horrible stuff, coolant. So, anyway, or antifreeze, whatever you call it. But yeah, let me top it up with water, crank it up, and yeah, see if we have any leaks. Yeah, I use this thing, it's always easier to pour with this thing. Yeah, you can 
Let's see if there's any other leaks. So, don't see any leaks yet. Uh, we shall find out. Right, let's do this. flushed it up before so now this is like it's a temporary mixture yeah probably just gonna gulp all of this up really so we'll fill this up there was no leaks as well so we know for sure our coolant is good to go so I'll top that up guys and wait for the fans to come on right and there we have it fans are on they spinning Temp is normal inside. What's our temp on there? Yeah, halfway. Nicely. Heating's on, obviously, just to keep the fluids flowing through the system. So, yeah, guys, that's it. So, yeah, guys, there you have it. It's finally all done and, you know, flushed out, fresh pipes, fresh coolant. Let's see how it stands. You know as it is let's see if it holds up if there's more oil then we know definitely the cylinder head is gone then we got um, <laughs> a mountain of work because then to take the head off hmm. it's easy but it's just thinking then what do i do i might have to think of if i want to make the car have any more power that'll be my chance as well so yeah we'll see what happens anyway i'll update you guys in the next you know couple of weeks about this issue but um there will be more videos coming out couple of mods as i've mentioned i think in the past video or two that i've got a couple of things in the pipeline so you guys will see that it, they're only gonna make the golf look better so yeah anyway take it easy guys look after yourselves and i'll see you again soon cheers bye